Good morning, conference. How are you? Thank you. Those that were here last night, I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. So, a stirring tune from 1940, when Britain had its back against the wall. And we're pretty much like that now. However, the song, Red, White and Blue, what does it mean to you? Think about it. I might ask some questions later. And I never pick on the front row, so it'll be Jamie at the back. <laughs> so, this flag came into being in 1801, 223 years ago. And it was all the countries of the United Kingdom came together as one country. It's instantly recognized all over the world. And for me, it stands for democracy, free speech, fair play, and many other wonderful things about our country that is our lifestyle. So, the number one priority of any government is the security of the nation and the freedom of its people. The defense of our country, I'm afraid, has been lost many, many times in the last 14 years by our conservative government. It's failed us on many fronts, and we've had a couple of Trojan horses land on our shore. The number one, of course, is those people that come from the Middle East and Africa, totally unvetted, could be criminals, could be terrorists, but they're taken into our society, and we don't know how that is gonna turn out. They have a culture that is incompatible with ours. And I'm afraid to say it, I've lived in the Middle East, I've lived in Africa, and I've worked all over. And I see their culture, which works fine in those countries. It's totally incompatible with ours. The Conservatives, Labour, Liberal, and even Reform, have no idea or clue how to stop the boats. It is very easy to stop the boats, but it takes moral courage. And unfortunately, only UKIP has a plan and the moral courage to do so. The armed forces, I'm afraid, are so very, very, very uh, numbers cut. Equipment is short, ammo is short, because it's all going to Ukraine, and it's not being replaced. Our number one battalion is now under command of the EU, under PESCO, and they are the spearhead battalion, and in any conflict, they can be called at any time by the EU to go and fight. In today's current climate, they probably last less than two weeks. The moral, the morale is low. Capital recruitment is ridiculous. It takes up to 400 days from application to basic training. Experienced soldiers are leaving in droves due to diversion and inclusivity. There are 110 at the last count, personnel whose job it is to go around and make sure that our armed forces are diverse and fully inclusive. Doesn't really help when you're facing the enemy 100 meters away, I can tell you that. Let's have a look at Russia. It's a stalemate at the moment. We honestly should not be getting in there other than trying to negotiate a peace. Okay. Putin is sitting pretty. He doesn't want to advance. He wants to keep the war going for as long as he possibly can. Russia sits on vast amounts of coal, gas, iron, precious metals, and about a third of the world's grain, all of which have more than quadrupled since the war started. Russia has virtually no debt, and life there at the moment is pretty good. Hamas and Gaza, very easily solved. The people of Gaza, all they have to do is round up the Hamas terrorists, hand them over to the IDF, war finished. But unfortunately, they're in with Hamas, they support them, and this is gonna drag on quite a long time. So, 
Only UK can and will stop the boats. We will fund and equip our armed forces to a point where we are proud of them again. I'm always proud of them, but unfortunately, the vast majority of the United Kingdom have got no clue of what's going on. We'll increase their numbers and make sure they're fully equipped. We'll stop the woke diversity and inclusion and get a good and proper recruitment policy. Never since the 1940s in the Battle of Britain has the threat to our country and our way of life been so great. So, I'm back to red, white and blue. What does it mean to you? Well, I say, surely you're proud, shout it aloud, Britain's awake. There'll always be in England, and England shall be free. If England means as much to you as England means to me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.